Are you regretting it now? What? Working with Ruby popping up everywhere. I don't care about her. Did you return Nicole's text? No. Why not? Well, I text Michael. I said I'll be up in a couple of days. What's wrong with tomorrow? Yeah, we promised not to but talk. But we didn't. You did. I'm working. <laughs> this is your family you're throwing away. I'm not throwing it away. You're not even talking to her. Because right now I'm so angry with Nicole, I don't know what would come out of my mouth. So please just back off in the end. This is my marriage, not yours. Vinny, some help here. Hurry! What happened? I saw him collapse. He was unresponsive. OK, continue compressions. Put out a coat. Let's take a recess. You good? I think so. All right, let's go. Vinny, I don't think I could have handled it alone. Yeah, well, someone would have come along. You're amazing. So call an emergency. I'm sorry about before when I dropped Look, just stop it, OK? We saved someone together. It doesn't make us buddies. It wasn't about you, you know. Well, say what now? What happened between me and Nicole? It just happened. I know how much she loves you. Right, because you know her so well. Not better than you. That's not what I mean. Ruby, we are at work now. I know. I'm just trying to say I'm not a horrible person. So you wrecked my marriage and you put distance between me and my kids. So what kind of person are you? Hi. Didn't know if you were going to pick up. Uh, neither did I. How's things back home? Fine. Kids are missing here. I am too. Oh, so hard. I'm just fine. Yeah, well... Yeah, I, I know. It's it's all my fault. I just don't know how to fix it. Neither do I. Do you even want this to be fixed? Of course I do. We're a family. So good to hear you say that. I'm going to spend the rest of my life making it up to you, but for now, can you just come up, please? I know we can work out a way to get through this together. OK. You'll come? Sure. When? Uh, today. Thank you. I know I don't deserve this. No, you don't. But I just love you so much. Ah, uh, yeah. Ruby tried to tell me that last night. Did she? <sighs> yeah, at work, in the middle of VD, she, um... Tried to tell me how much she loved me and that you're not a bad... Well, that she's not a bad person. Well, I'm sure she was just uh, trying to make things right with you. She can't, Nick. No. But really, what's happening with us, that's got nothing to do with her. Yes, it does. OK, because she's the one you slept with. How many times do I have to say I'm sorry? Well, that was never going to cut it. Well, then what will? Just tell me what to do and I will do it. OK, turn back the clock and don't sleep with her. I can't. Well, then there's nothing, Nick. I made a mistake. No, no, forgetting to take out the trash. That's a mistake, all right? You cheated on me and then you lied about it. You're never going to forgive me, are you? Well, it doesn't feel like it. So where does that leave us? I don't know. Divorce court? You don't mean that. Are you saying that our marriage is over? Maybe it is. There'll be a parent there. Oh, I don't know, honey. Why not? Well, I thought we could do something together. But you're so sad all the time. Can I go? Yeah, go have fun. Will you be okay? Of course. Hey, guys, wait up! Over. What? Our marriage, Jesus, is over. Oh, 
have made such a mess of things. Oh, don't cry, please. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. What can I do? I, I shouldn't have called. What can I get you? Outfit again. I don't think that's on the menu. Honestly, who'd pay $50 for a porcelain cat? <laughs> you? <sighs> You're right. I'm stressed purchasing. I've already bought a set of sherry glasses and a pair of garden gnomes. I don't even have a garden. Alien. <laughs> oh, how long have you been sitting there? Hey, Blue, can you get us some bus snacks? Just anything. Sure. I'm sorry for um, taking it out on you last night. Oh, I'm pestering. I know I am. I'm just terrified yeah. that... Me too. Part of it's selfish, to be honest. I don't want Nicole to lose you, but... I don't want to lose you either. I uh, talked to her. Mm -hmm. And uh, we ended up fighting. Well, at, at least you're talking. I told her it was over. What? It, it, it just came out. Did you mean it? I, I did then. And now? I'm just... I'm just so angry with her. No, oh, you have every right to be. And every time I hear her voice, it just makes me furious. You know in the mornings when you wake up and just for a moment you forget about how gross you feel, how empty, how alone. Well, that's how I'm going to feel forever now that Howard's gone. Every morning for the rest of my life. But you don't have to. You can still see the love of your life. The only thing keeping you apart is a few hours' drive and a, a good old-fashioned Barney. And forgiveness? Which seems impossible. Well, you don't know unless you try. Hey! I'm so sad on the phone. I couldn't bear it. I thought we needed a hug. Well, I don't. You shouldn't have come. Michael's off with his friends. He can't see you here. He'll tell everyone. Tell Vinny, you mean? You have to go, Ruby. You just found out your marriage is over. Don't say that. I don't want you to be alone. Well, I don't want you here. You're the reason. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm not blaming you. You, you can. You should. It's my fault. No, it isn't. You've been punished enough. So have you. Please, Ruby, I can't deal with this right now. Look, we can be friends after all this awfulness, can't we? Just tell me you want me to go and I'll go. With him. Mm. My mistake. Was he really awful? Just cold. But like I said, I'll be okay. You can't worry about me. No, I do, though. Can't help it. So, how long are you staying up here? I've got this place for the next couple of weeks. Kids must love it. Mm, they do. Out of the beach all day. They miss Vinny. Is Vinny coming to see them at all? Uh, he was, and now he's not. He doesn't want to see me. Do you want to see him? Not if he's just going to yell at me. What's the point? It's really over your marriage. Uh, I can't face going back to town. I don't know how I'm going to deal with everything. You'll be okay. You'll get through it. Will I? Well, I can help if you let me. You're asking for trouble being anywhere near me. Why would you do that? You know why. I fell for you the first moment I saw you. Bad day at the office. <laughs> but being with you is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I'll settle for friends if I have to, but my feelings won't change. I always want to be with you. Hey, I, um, I 
and the, uh, door was locked. I thought you might be down the beach. You said you weren't coming to visit. You yeah, said it was I, I, over. I, I, I know what I said. And I, I was angry. So where are the boys? Um, Michael's out parasailing with some kids he met. Cool. Yes, yeah, thought you might be him. Belly's asleep. Listen, can we talk? And I mean talk, not yell and scream, and I'll keep it under control, I promise. I wish you'd told me that you were coming. Well, I didn't know myself until I got in the car. I mean, all the way here, I've just been thinking. But I need to see it from her point of view. See what? Uh, Ruby. I mean, why you did what you did. I, I need to understand where I went wrong so I can try to fix the problem. You didn't do anything wrong. I wasn't there enough. We weren't there for each other. We can change that. Look, starting now, look, I'm on leave, my bags are in the car. Benny, I'm so sorry. I, I know you are. And I should never have said that I want to cut it, you know, but it's something to work on. No, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry for today. What I'll fight on the phone? And what happened after, Ruby? What? I, I, don't, I don't understand. Hi. You said you weren't coming. You said our marriage was over. <laughs>